Hi everyone, welcome back to Nasidyanka, the channel where I talk about Bulgarian culture, tradition, history and faith. Uh, so this is episode 15, part 5. And this is going to be a short episode. It continues um, along the lines of my translation uh, based on Ivan Trenev's article um, about 17,000 year old uh, Bulgarian history. And to be more accurate, I shared it in previous part. Okay, it's called Bulgarians are at the basis of human civilization. So we continue along that line. And so in this part, I'm going to cover the oldest and most accurate calendar in the world. Um, as Ivan Trenev describes it, um, although I've spoken about this in a, an earlier episode, so feel free to refer to that. Also, I'm going to cover the oldest script in the world. Okay, so the Bulgarian calendar is the oldest and most perfect in the world. Um, it is officially recognized by UNESCO. Uh, the latest research shows us that the beginning of the calendar is the year of 5505 BC, 5505. The Bulgarians carried over from the millennia uh, before the new era the most perfect system for measuring the length of the earthly year. The movement of the constellations likened to animals is counted in a 12-year cycle according to the path of Yan Kul, or Jupiter. That's how Google translated it for me, um, around the sun. I'm doing my best to translate. It's very difficult because English is so different from the Bulgarian language, but I'm giving you guys as best as I can <laughs> here. In terms of the arrangement of days and months, the calendar of the ancient Bulgarians were superior to the Indian and Chinese calendar systems and so that so much so that in fact they borrowed it from it so the Indians and the Chinese borrowed the calendar from the Bulgarians um, the, the Mayans did as well but we'll talk about them later the ancient Bulgarian calendar is recognized by all world experts in this field as the most precise calendar even today, when the world is proud of its space achievements, a more accurate calendar system than the Bulgarian one can no longer be invented because it's, it's just that accurate. Um, this means that the Bulgarians knew to perfection the cosmic cycles and the movements of the planet Earth in space. Additionally, all this took place several millennia before the new era. Even most peoples, um, even uh, like during the times of people who lived in the, in the Stone Age, or at least were being taught that. Um, the oldest script, let's talk about this for a moment here. The oldest script in the world is the Bulgarian Kunig, or Kunig, Kunig. It served as the basis of which the Bulgarian Glagolithic script was created. So we have the Bulgarian Kunig script later the Glagolithic script, and later the Cyrillic alphabet, which uh, made it easier for people to write on and understand. And then it was spread to all of the Eastern European countries, Russia included. And I say that because many people have asked me, do you have a language of your own? Does Bulgaria have its own writing system? Do you guys borrow from the Russians or maybe the Serbians? Do you guys speak Romanian? No, we speak Bulgarian and we gave... Bulgarian language and script to Serbians, to Russians, to Romanians, to, uh, you know, to the rest of the Eastern European bloc, um, at least. So before the creation of the Bulgarian alphabets, as we currently recognize them as Glagolithic and Cyrillic, the ancient Bulgarians had their script called Kuneg in the written characters uh, that were called Kun, K-U-N. Uh, so in um, the Sumerian civilization, Sumer, I guess you guys will say. Okay, there was a little glitch in my camera. I apologize for this. Let's continue. So I was trying to tell you guys that in Sumer, the Sumerian civilization, as well as in Akkad, the word kunuku, uh, K-U-N-U-K-U, meant inscription or royal inscription. Uh, so the ancient Bulgarian script was discovered in places inhabited by Bulgarians. 
such as the Dobruja region, the Volga Kam Interfluv, uh, and the North Caucasus. In the work about the letters, Chernrizets Hrabar notes that the Bulgarian runic script was um, used for all different purposes, including divination. Now, some may ask me a tons of questions about this. I'm not taking, I'm not saying for or against. I'm giving you right now just the facts. Um, you can easily, if you know me closely, you'll know what my opinions are about things like that. Uh, creating the new Bulgarian alphabet, Cyril and Methodius and their students used the ancient Bulgarian characters, Kuni, which nowadays are more popular and known as runes. And I think that this is important, more important to know. Because again and again, um, because of the big historical deception that has convinced us and brainwashed us into believing that the Cyrillic alphabet is somehow Russian and that's it. Well, it's not. Okay, so those uh, characters that Cyril, Cyril and Methodius and their students actually used in the Bulgarian language are uh, certain letters which the English does not contain, but they sound like A, B, V. O, H, M, E, Sh, Sh, T, C, Z, E, and we have different Us. There is a big O and a small O, Ermalak. There is U, there is Ch, there is K, there is T. There, is a, there used to be a big U and a small U. Um, so these are very, very peculiar to Bulgarian language. And when we talk about history, um, you can see how language goes again and again indelible as well as faith and practices and so forth um, of, of a country, of a, of a nation. So the oldest book, uh, book of the world um, is uh, actually the ancient Bulgarian epic Chulman Tolgau uh, that was written 6,000 years before the new era and it was published by the Bulgarian poet Kuban Boyan uh, 154 years BC. The names and stories in the um, that book actually it, they seem some people have found some correspondence with the biblical names and stories is in the Old Testament, um, which that's my side note here makes me wonder and I will be happy to do more research into this. But I have for example. Um, watched an interview by Ivan Trenev in the past um, where he actually was able to find um, the Bulgarian lineage down to uh, Noah and his son. So we go back to the big great flood. I'll be happy to research this and translate in the future. I'm going step by step because I cannot possibly translate everything all at once, right? So I appreciate your patience and support nonetheless. And so Going back to his article, he also includes that in uh, the, the so-called Greek alphabet was actually created by the Bulgarian Thracian Orpheus, also in some regions known as Orpheus, Orfe, Orpheus, Orpheus. So with this, I'm going to end here. This is a shorter video today, and um, I hope that it was invigorating and inviting you to... Um, Find a healthy sense of curiosity and uh, interest in learning the truth and seeking the truth. Um, I appreciate your time and, again, your support. And I hope that you have a good rest of the day. We will continue with part six, where we'll talk a little more about what Ivan Trenev has discovered that relates to the 17,000 year of history of the Bulgarians, the ancient Bulgarians. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.